I'm hooked on drawing. Personally, I'm hooked on the idea of a signature line. The language of a drawing, the exploration of movement in line, and the arrival and satisfaction of drawing from the ground up, and weight to a drawing in every sense. Thematically, my interests peak at odd hybrid moments in my surroundings, sometimes humorous, sometimes just an odd translation of objects that wouldn't normally sit together, and I find that's what feeds the compositions. I try and vary my approaches when I draw, but I do consider it to be all that I actually do, even under the guise of collage, painting, sculpture, even photography or film for that matter. When I make anything at all, it is all just an extension of my mark. I'm just drawing with a different tool. The five A5 drawings included in the exhibition are part of the Sloughed Skin series, which are a series of drawings of gloves and masks. They've all been individually collated since the first lockdown and have all been left in the wake of a sanitised nation. You see them when you walk along any street or lane. They lie, they hang, they float, each an object holding its own. They became our setting skin, cast off quite thoughtlessly, needed at the time, but a timely reminder of all that's going on round about us, and ever present. The gloves themselves have a skin-like quality, and it is what I try for each time I draw. I use collage and a blend of materials to try and carve out a little of the fragility and sometimes boisterousness of them. The masks remind me of boats and parachutes. Little rescue vehicles strung up on fences, floating in gutters. They make me laugh a little. I find it curious their demand and disregard in such a short space of time. My name is Claire Cote. I am a multi-passionate artist, mother, off-grid homemaker and director of LEAP in the northern New Mexico high desert. I make art to awaken the senses and to remind myself and others to take time to notice. For me, art is a form of fieldwork, a study of place, interdependence and personal experience. Motherhood, rural living and off-grid homemaking are also part of my current arts practice. I experiment across mediums, but drawing is a central pillar for me, complemented by painting, sound, photography, and occasional forays into interactive sculpture and installation. The drawings I made for the A5 Drawing Box exhibition were created in lockdown during 2020. They are inspired by five tiny drawings I made as part of my ongoing Daily Nested Drawings project which is a series of small personal pen and ink drawings created as a quick reflective documentary practice amidst the cacophony of daily fleeting thoughts, feelings and experiences of family life and being human. The five images I chose from this personal image library to rework as A5s for the drawing box reflect the poignancy of this time for me and my family. Each drawing is a small window into a particular thought or experience, a moment of delight, challenge, humor, or insight nested within many others. My name is Tali Mau and I come from Norddeutschland. I moved to Ireland about 15 years ago when I fell in love with ever-changing light, diverse majestic landscapes, rich heritage and wonderful people. Gravity is pulling a bit less on one's feet when one is in a state of awe. My main artistic technique is that I don't work in one main technique, even though I circle back to a couple of media regularly and enjoy combining them. 
I love the restrictions that each medium is inviting one to overcome and the limitlessness of expression in each practice. My work is circling around belonging and relating, land and people, roots and blossoms. The series in this exhibition is combining collage and carbon drawing and was created during the first COVID-19 lockdown where movement was restricted to a small radius. Characteristic of the five drawings is that none of them possesses a horizon. Drawn to the rhythm of the lines, pattern of presence and absence, reflection and direction, I'm going to say a bit about the work I did prior to this exhibition. I'm concerned with abstraction and translation and make work that brings together graphic imagery and extracts from Russian literature. Between 2018 and 2020, I collected fragments from Nikolai Gogol's Ukrainian tales and painted to them. In many respects, the dialogue between text and image is intentionally unresolved so that it can develop in unexpected ways. I chose extracts for their fantastic nature. They describe a world turned upside down and correspond with the times we live in. The work in this exhibition refers to a goggle tale about the devil's red jacket that goes missing. It combines parallel text in Russian and English with variations of negative forms on a green ground. This particular green generates its complementary and makes the white paper appear pink. I'm interested in making work that alludes to things beyond the frame, to something that cannot be seen. So, in a way, these drawings invoke the colour red. Hello, I'm Wilma Vissers. I'm a member of the Drawing Box, quite long already. Now I'm also working together with Diane in the organization. Um, what is drawing? Drawing has always been the main focus of my practice, together with sculpting, bookmaking and painting. Drawing is the closest what you could say, what you think, and what you feel. It's close to the heart. That's it. Hello, this is Claire French, uh, coming to you from my studio at um, QSS or Queen Street Studios in Belfast. Drawing has always been a the basis of, a pra of my practice in terms of working initial things out with paintings and other projects. But certainly over lockdown, I s deliberately practiced and worked on developing my own drawing practice. Um, I think as a minimalist, repetitive, abstract painter and drawer, I think it took me, drawing could be that as well and um, didn't have to be 
drawing from life or observation. So, um, yeah, this is a few things on my desk on the go. So my work is repetitive and quite conceptual. And I certainly, these are just my couple of sketchbooks that show just playing with patterns and repeats of various squares and shapes. I use the square a lot as in Malevich and the fundamental kind of basis of something that is as plain as it can get. <laughs> so a lot of my work is repeated squares, but as you can see, I do try and use to look at other patterns and think about repeating those as well. Um, so that gives you a sense. Again, often we'll take architectural details and abstract them down through drawing um, and they will then become other pieces of work. A new thing that a new piece of work I'm starting on at the moment is going to be, again, starting drawing and I use tracing paper a lot to begin with as well which was another great joy that opened drawing up for me realizing I could start with tracing um, so these um, patterns they may or may not bear much resemblance to the original um, patterns to begin with but that's a nice place to start um, and I'll just come sorry come over here and uh, again just oh, I'm running out of room just another couple of examples of some smaller drawings such as the ones I've got in the show. Okay, thanks, bye. Hello, hi, these are my some practice work in my studio. That's some sketch, different medium, ink, Pan and different form human and animal. I try to capture the human and animal emotion. This is my A5 work. The medium huge ink and different type paint and paper cutting texture this is charcoal medium and different type dot texture just like human body two human transferring your emotion and different way it's my form this is charcoal paper cut and ink it's my recent work 2022 it's my studio and i try human and animal form that's relate and different line texture Here I try to relate human and animal relationship and form in my way.
portraiture as a context for reimagining how identities are formed and in some instances shaped by religious beliefs and multicultural ways of being in the world has informed my art practice and thinking for over 20 years. I'm particularly interested in how these narratives change and adapt over time and place. In this body of work titled Prayer Cards, I aim to visually challenge the idealisation of women and their sense of self and how they come to know and understand themselves as sexual beings. The medium of drawing, painting, digital and hybrid photography express my ideas and thinking on this matter. The portraits for this exhibition are inspired by a selection of female Catholic saints whose piety, wisdom, martyrdom and empowered sense of identity provide a framework to look more closely at how female identities are formed and informed by one's experience of church and state. The portraits on exhibition offer a revisionist view of what contemporary holy women might look like. I was keen to celebrate their influence on community and culture by reimagining their devotional life through a contemporary approach to portraiture in the form of an ex voto prayer card. In an age of celebrity culture, these saints ironically personified during their lifetime the idea of celebrity through their historical characterization as mystics and witches. These women were special women with special powers. The making of the works commenced by exploring my ideas, materials and how they would support each other as a context and concept. Preliminary sketches and pencil were developed into painted works using acrylic paint and watercolour pencils. Drawing into painting is a significant process that underpins my art practice. Throughout the making process and by recontextualising how the portraits were to be read and understood, I felt more than just the artist. I felt that I was in some way contributing to the history of women artists and at the same time acknowledging the many women who have and continue to act as patrons to women in art. By visually rescripting a story that was handed down via the altar, I conclude that we can and should tell our stories through our lives, our bodies, and in doing so we begin to know and understand ourselves better. Drawing's foundational to my work, um, particularly observational drawing I use as a kind of touchstone in my work. I'm really interested in the body and um, life drawing is something that I continue to use in my practice. Observational drawing from life is also something that I refer to and return to frequently. This is a local landscape, um, the Firth of Clyde. This is a more recent work that's a mixture of a remembered landscape. Um, this is based on a walk I did around the Holy Loch and um, kind of imagined elements. So the figure there is drawn from memory and imagination. The works that I made for the drawing box show were made in lockdown. Five small A5 drawings, as are all the pictures in the show. I return to elements that I quite often refer to in my work. Um, all the pictures have a rough hand-drawn frame and several of them refer to the stage. 
I also use cages quite a lot in my work, so you'll see quite a few cages in there. And um, finally, the figure, as I said, is something that I always come back to. Um, and all of these pictures have um, a figure within them, although sometimes that's become a bottle. Um, sometimes it's become very abstracted and sometimes it's almost vanished entirely. <laughs> 